I am back with the broadcasting series. Hello, my ravens. This is Zappa Q, and welcome back to another video of Lost Ark broadcast. As you know, I'm back with the series for the month of May, and we're going to tell you more about these broadcasters throughout the throughout the way. Hey, so let's go back to where we left off, and that was true crime so i've been investing a lot about true crime in the cell oh uh like uh what is it about so it's a common definition of crime of non-fiction during a popular media it's a real life crime of a single case a murder decision sexual assault or other or victim crime so it's like a way of answering the crime investigation by picking out clues and solving puzzles and that sort of thing. It's like the way of a mystery uh, investment of crime in these cell. Oh, so yeah, let's talk about these um, some other crimes. That involves um, sexual assault. Alright. The first one could be a, a legal crime. Is it illegal or illegal? Oh, and then other crimes are like you have to invest this crime to make it more satisfied for a lot of people. Or, and each crime is actually kind of good and you want to uh, make it suitable for a lot pajamas side side and these cell uh, anyway hey let me go more deep to it and I'll get back Here's something good. Why is true crime in unethical? It's a glorious issue that a crime can visually be constant or private to our victims and families. Is so that's like the way of uh, investing a person, sin, the name, the age, the background, town, and family. They or leading down to like a suspect that you uh, may know or may not know. Oh, and then that uh, person will tell you who it really is. It is, uh, I don't think it's actually a bad thing for, for, for true crime, but it could be because each victim has a analysis as and who is a killer Ashley and who is a victim of the of the misery from a crime and then, and then you want to know you want to talk to these suspects more often and focus on other other people too and they were each person gives you like a different story and a different person that actually did it and then you gotta figure out who actually did it for real you know like kill a vic this victim and that sort of thing i gotta say so yeah it's kind of interesting and kind of weird how each thing works but that's how um, true, true crime is, after all. But anyway, enough about that. Let's go with real, the real crime, after all. 
So there's a whole bunch of crime in the setting. If you know the number of 911, you know how it works. So there's a TV show that's called 911, and they go against emergency crimes, uh, investing through, and the show is just uh, talking to some people that call the, the emergency line, line number, and they ransack to what they can happen, and what can they, they can work through other ways of, of it. And that's the thing. thing. So yeah. Another thing in, you can talk about the show is the way how it affects by different apartments. Aren't you got the hospital, which is the medic. You got the police, and then you got the fire department. Department. It's mainly. Um, a lot of efforts asserting, especially the, the weather collisions. As you know, in California, is actually kind of dangerous for the weather. Uh, you got earthquakes, aftershock, uh, tsunami, and uh, there was another one. On uh, oh, uh, forest fire fires. Normally, those those are during during the summer. The forest fires, and then also there's all uh, like car crashing to each other. Uh, there's house fires too. Ooh, and a and then like sexual assault, which is like uh, two people fighting fighting to each other or arguing to each other. Uh, no matter what. Where they called the emergency line, the, the police force or the fire department would be right there. And one of the of those show for the episode is it kind of unique in each way. It could be intense or it could be uh, normal. Oh, me. Mainly is actually intense in detail, and it is actually uh, different to to a lot of people. I gotta say, hey, and I do look, and I do like this show a lot. It's based on solving mysteries and solving investigations to the way that each. Get, each character had their own episode the, um, to know to know how to become a a officer or join the fire department and that's pretty much it. I wish there was more to it. It's like because uh, as you know, each character there was was true meaning to a lot of people oh and how they affect themselves oh especially when they um drop their career and decide to become a a firefighter or a police officer uh, like this one person he joined the army before before and then he had to leave it because because of his uh, child so he joined the fire department instead of going back to the army and he would t and he secondly like a single a single father with, with a kid like a disability kid and it's kind of hard when, as being a being a soldier, you have to get to travel a lot. Well, that's not good for your child. You can actually have to change your career to something else. And he did the right thing to, to join the fire department. Yeah. This lady, the 
joined the police force, lost her um, fiance, like her ex fiance, and she denied to follow her with her mom. So she decided to stay in LA and serve as a police officer and became a sergeant. Deny, denied on a, on a job become a lieutenant. And honestly, it'd be really cool if she if she did become a lieutenant after all. And that's something. And I'm still watching the show. I'm like, like season five of the show, and I still got a long way to go because the seven the seven season right now. Oh, so yeah. Two. People, which are actually our siblings, Ings, the brother and the sister. The sister is the oldest, and the brother is the youngest. Uh, one thing I didn't know they that they had a another brother. Uh, he actually passed away. He got he got killed by a car crash. I believe so. But someone actually smashed into him. Him, so he died at in the in the cell. Oh, and that why the parents doesn't care about about his children, like because because they did bad things before. Oh, so the so the parents feel like they are criminals after all, but they're not. Um, what else? The is the age is he I'm pretty sure he's Asian. So the Asian man he joined the fire department and and he abandoned his father uh, his to not go back to Korean and to stay in America actually. So his father disobeyed him him. Along come comes his Stepbrother, <laughs> uh, and and they was ordered by his father, uh, even though he did abandon him after all, but, but he still sent out his stepbrother in, in the so, uh, and then later on, the, the stepbrother learns the way a, a about being American, and person and. He decided to get his job as a fire department it's in in the cell. Not sure what num not, not sure what building number he got to, but uh I see the time where the time comes. Um so I've been focusing on college actually, that why. And then yeah, how a captain uh Lost his family, like his wife and kids, and then had to leave his hometown and move to LA to join the fire department as as a new captain. Actually, and he's a pretty good captain, and and he can cook well too. So yeah. Also, he has a new. Also, he has a new family. And a new wife in the cell. So, what more can you ask? <laughs> and then we got a woman that's actually a lesbian. She has a trial, and and then in the future she became a foster parent. Like she has a sickly. The the child has two moms, um, so one, so it's like a lesbian marriage, marriage, and she joined the fire department, and and now um, the two women are actually now like foster parents. They can take care of the kids, sis, for the time being. To keep the wing on, on the belt. 
else. I believe I, that's all the cards I did talk about before. I don't think I'm missing anyone. Un. Uh, and there are more more to it in these cells. Uh, let's go to another one that's called the Wookiee. This one's based on also uh, Crime Investigation 2. So in that shell, there are two sergeants, sergeants, and and then you get the um, well now they well now they are actually two Wookies, Wookies, and they actually rank up. One became a patrol officer. The other one is still working on her way to become a detective. If it's hard to tell if she want if she's ready for it to become a de detective. Actually, me uh, another Wookie you did join the police force. Well, now she's actually rank up. Up, uh, her <laughs> yearly patrol is actually over. Uh, uh, the patrol officer got married, okay, and now the, and now the the wife wants to know how if he, if he's ready have had a if he's ready had another child like another kid, and <laughs> it's hard because. He had been t taking care of his son for a very long time. He's like tw 20 years old or 21. And, and I'm not sure. And he's not sure if he's ready for another child at all. But it's kind of cool how they affect from it. Yeah. Um... And it's mainly, and it's mainly a lot of officers in that show. Oh, like you have to figure out which one is the real suspect and what, and which one is the fake officer. Uh, and it's it's not that hard actually. It's kind of easy to figure out which one is which. Which, <laughs> and. Those two shows are a little different, like, so, in Wookiee, they, they have body ca cameras, and that way they use to record the shows, like, record episodes throughout the way, um, ways, and then also they have the camera in their, uh, police shop, which is another for, for a police car, and... They use those too for the for each episode in the so, so and it's kind of interesting how they work and how they format, and I, and I know it's actually a lot harder to do that, but it it actually works works in the so that why the, the episode takes takes a really long time to actually edit and um, put it in in the right order. Because uh, when you're making a show like based on crime investigation, then you want to put them, you want to put certain videos, sections, and and certain orders, orders, and, that, and make sure they actually look right, look correct, at not in the uh, semantic form, like in uh, so crazy that you can't understand it. It and normally that's actually kind of good, but in other news, news you are actually um, you could do a good job or a bad job um, with these editings of the videos. Oh, yeah, for each, for each episode. So there you have it.
it. That's actually a climb too. Uh, one climb I, can want, I do want to talk about for the last 10 minutes, I guess so. I want to know if we can do... So there's drugs and one and one of the legal drugs actually is alcohol, so you, which is actually drinking and driving in diesel. That's one powerful way of of it. it drinking and driving is actually the most uh, powerful drug ever. Uh, I'm I remember watching one episode about drinking and driving. Thing. So the mom was drunk. He was, she was driving. There was a child, aisle on the backside, of the seat. He, they crashed to each other. And and the police force realized that the mother was actually drunk. So the one reason, saying that collision for your for your child was drinking and he could kill him luckily he did survive actually and but but now the mother's in jail yeah you know, facing her with defense of doing a terrible thing in a cell oh another thing of drugs is actually marijuana or Hellwind, that's the one that's another one too. Ew. And those are a little those are a little hard too. Like man, like Hellwind is actually is actually a drug needle shot. Uh uh I'm poking it over and over again. Um Marijuana is Is it done by two ways? Ace? Or is is or is it another way? Or that or that is a different drug. Uh, so marijuana is like smoking in with a cigarette or a cigar. A cigar. Uh, uh, what's that one you use your nose and you're sniffing the, the drug? Uh, is that cocaine? Yeah, it is. Okay. That's cocaine. Yeah. And that's going to be, you could be high, high with that drug. And it makes you like very sensible to it and also and it also toxic to children if they try to actually uh, eat it they can uh, they can get wavies from it like they can die from it in these so that would children uh, affect with cocaine drug of these so so, so as you know, like drugs actually are very dangerous to a lot of people, or especially children. In and you, you wanted to use them wisely, not uh, all the time. You can use them. You may want to use them like maybe like once in a while, or like once blue moon. Like I do drink, thing, but it's more like once blue moon. I actually drink mainly. I drink wine. Or uh, certain alcohols, oh, like vodka. Uh, I'm. I only drink actually. I don't. I don't smoke or do anything else. Else, based on drugs. Us, and I wish I get. I wish I. I like drinking beer, but I don't actually. It's kind of gross drinking beer to me. It's. It can be strong or it can be weak, eek, and it's not for me. Drinking beer, so yeah, I do affect myself when I'm actually dr when I am driving. I'm I'm never dr drunk, drunk. Uh, if I am, normally I don't uh, obey the law of drinking and driving. And one time, this one time I was drunk. Uh, this was in vacation, which is fine actually. Uh, I was on an island called Buba, 
So that was normally normal oh, to, to me because I have nowhere to, go, nowhere to go. I can just walk, actually. So there's, there's no really ceiling point to me. How it works. But people realizing like how can you, how far can you can go to getting drunk. Drunk. Like how about can we those those kiwi shots how many shots can you drink before you, until you get drunk? Um, and that, it could be like pay, pretty powerful well, taking taking those because what you do is you take a shot of vodka and then you take and you suck a lime. And you, do that, and you do that over and over until you are dizzy. Z. And it can be kind of gross being dizzy because you start to vomit and that sort of thing. thing. So, yeah, it's weird. Yeah, and, it, and it's a bad thing to take drugs. It's not that good. Yeah, so, watch yourself. So when you when you do it, yeah, okay. Let me see what else can we do for me like five minutes. Yes, yeah, talk about it for five minutes. All right. So the next one that we could talk about crime is the uh, driving. Okay, that's a good one. So driving of a crime is to be like a collision. So crashing to a big old speeding thing, passing through a red a red light, right? Uh, avoid avoiding stop signs, not turning your turning signals. Uh, breaking so pretty much like breaking the 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 world's laws, um, and that's so dang. Uh, how it works and how it format and there's a one there's one thing about um what is it called is it called law in force there you go law enforcement all right so law enforcement is actually kind of in the same piece so it's a law all that has activities in, to members in government organized in the manner of enforcement and and discovering entire rebellion or pushing people. So let's say say there's two different kind of races, white people and black people. Oh, if you're a white person sin and you don't if you're a white person and you're a cop. Oh. These people are kind of idiots when they when they are white talking to a black person that that they don't even care when they should. It's like white people and black people are their friends or are they not friends, and it's like a yin and yang against them. And so are they friends or are they not friends? And it's it's, it's something we don't all based on it. It and I and I don't like it that much because. Like, wait, we should be we supposed to be friends with black people in D. So I'm, I'm friends with black people. Oh, should they? Should the police force should be friends for for black people? I say yes, yes, but some people don't. Some of them don't don't want that. Yeah, they want to be idiots against them, and especially if if you're. Especially if your um, boss is is black, then you then you, you actually could be scared because you're white and you're like, oh, uh, sorry, I didn't know the look from you, <laughs> you and and now you're busted actually, <laughs> sure, because because once you insult your boss, you get you actually get in probation you. You lost your job for a long time, All right? So you don't serve anymore. You don't quotate to to yourself to work as a police as a police officer. 
Yeah. So so be nice when you're talking to the op to the opposite yeah opposite ways actually. It is kind of not right. I hate when people I hate when um people do that. If you look, if if you like to be actually idiots, is right. Yeah. And what? And I, and I know it it hurts for a lot of people because the police force had to had to obey their their rules, and and they do hurt us actually if we don't listen. Sin. Let's say you are a person that that is a young driver. You're. Um, 17 years old driving by you get pulled over by a police officer he asks for your license and reservation you give him license and reservation then they go to the car the, the police car check on the, on what's going on and and then they give you a warning or a ticket it and normally that, that that does happen quite often with the, the warning the, but the ticket could be something could be uh, something instant like taxi and driving and you you may have drugs in your car oh um, I know a couple of, of policemen has king eyes which is actually, which is actually dogs it's mainly a judge, German Shepherd, and it's kind of real how it works, but the how it works in the film. Oh, and you want to really focus on, on and listen to the police officer, to what he's saying, else you're getting locked up and going to jail. Yeah, so yeah, don't do that. Anyway, I think that's actually pretty much it, I gotta say, so I'm going to leave the video here. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you learned a lot about crime investigation or true crime. And the next one is actually cooking. Okay, so that's pulling arts. Arts. And that's it. So thanks so, so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Join T Ravens. Do find me on my social media accounts. And I'll see you next time. Bye.